it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got a Korean colouring book. It's Disney and I think you've guessed it, it's Winnie the Pooh. So this Disney Korean Winnie the Pooh colouring book is the same size as most colouring books you might be familiar with. Here it is up against World of Flowers. Now, of course, it's from Korea, so that's going to add to the cost of the book. And it's got full colour printing in it, which is also expensive. So we start off with this little creamy page here with some cute little repetitive patterns of Winnie the Pooh. Bit too small to colour in, I think. Certainly too small for me. I'm already squinting and getting wrinkles just looking at it. Then we've got Winnie on the front page here in colour and beautiful coloured double page spread. Isn't it gorgeous? This book comes with some treats as well so I'll show you those at the end. And don't worry we do have line art coming up but there are a lot of uh, coloured images in this one. So the link uh, to buy it is below the video and that's the case in every single video that I make. I try and get as many links as possible to buy the book that I'm reviewing. Sometimes they're sold out or sometimes I've had the book for so long it's not available but they're always below the video. If you're seeing this on my blog they're at the top and the bottom of the blog post. So a gorgeous, beautiful, dreamy image on the background with the text in Korean. We could scan that and translate it if we wanted to and then the very cartoony Winnie the Pooh at the front. So this one has some line art and you could colour that in. It's a brown print on that and some of it is really fine. Like Some of it is so light that you might not be able to see just in this area just to give it that dreamy look. And then Winnie and the bees are all in colour. Now this one has got Winnie with the really nice black line art, very easy to see. And the balloons, but that beautiful sky has already been done for you. Now the paper is lovely and thick. It's smooth, it's white and it's a like a thin cardstock, it's medium to heavy, it's really lovely. So again we've got the pre-printing here on Winnie and the bees and the background is in this brown print or brown. And over here on this page we've got it in a really strong black line. And this one again brown print and then Winnie there in full colour. So depending on what mood you're in, you could go with like the really easy to colour and see pictures or the ones that are already half done with the dreamy backgrounds in the dark brown which would, you know, produce sort of like a more painterly effect. Isn't this cute? So all the ones on the left are with the brown print and then all the ones on the right are in the nice black lines. Then we've got this lovely little rose pink and I think this indicates a new chapter. We've got Piglet here and Piglet's probably going to feature in the next pages. Here we have it. Look at this butterfly tree, isn't that cute? And again, the image on the left is always that brown print and then on the right we've got the black line art. And now we've got Hee Haw. And look at this one, aren't they adorable? Oh, 
still got some cute Winnie the Pooh books, but it's been a long time since I've read Winnie the Pooh. Like a really long time. I think I was probably a child the last time I read Winnie the Pooh. Then we've got Tigger. And I actually had a little doggy years ago that I named Tigger. It was so cute. It's Charlie's brother. And it's still alive and it has a wonderful life. Gave it to a friend that I used to work with, and geez, he's had the best life going. And I called him Tigger because even though his mum and dad were both Maltese Terriers or Maltese Shih Tzu Crosses, he came out black and brown. He was just gorgeous. And that beautiful blue background there again. I'll see if I can find a photo of him and insert it into the video. But I really wanted to keep him so badly. And when he left, I cried for three days. Just why we've got Charlie now. What are all these lovely pumpkins? When was the last time that you guys read Winnie the Pooh? Am I the only one that hasn't touched it since childhood? There's a few Winnie the Pooh books out at the moment, but this one was my favourite because it had the coloured inspirational images and I just felt that it might have better paper on it than the other ones. Look at this really detailed scene here. And this one's got a very sketchy look to it, which you know looks very close to the inspirational image, but it's larger. This is a smaller size. This one's been scaled up, and it's got a lovely little mauve border around it there. And we've got the same thing here. We've got the inspirational coloured image, and then a scaled up version on the right hand side. And this one has got a lovely little mint green border. And here we've got some gorgeous little you could even cut them out and have them as posters, but you, this one would be okay to cut out and colour in, or even just leave like that. But this one you'd lose the line art, so it's kind of a shame that they didn't put those onto separate pages, because they'd make lovely gifts. And of course, you know, it always happens. It comes to an end. But this one has got some treats, so let's have a look at those. We've got a packet uh, of stickers, so they're cute. And you just peel those off, all lovely and in colour. So this one is a, it's got two on it. And this one's got a little poo on it, isn't it cute? So they'd be very, very cute. Then we've got this one, and they're quite pretty. And quite pastelly pretty. And this says grateful on it. Take me to the stars, enjoy the little things, always better together. Aren't they cute? Be nice for your journals or things like that. So there's those two and then there's these little things in plastic pouches. And they put these things in so tight I know I won't be able to get it back properly. So it's like a little card. It's just on thinnish paper. It's creasing very easily. So two and, you know, enjoy every day with poo. So you could give that as a gift to somebody. And then this is in plastic. And they're two. Well, it's one thickish little bit of plastic. I don't know what it's for. It's always a sunny day when you come to play, is what that one says, with Piglet on it. I don't know what the point of it is. It's very thick plastic. And then this is a thin plastic. 
but they're not stickers, I don't think. You can't take them off, or can you? Oh, yes, you can. The little tiny stickers, they peel off. So now I know what that one's for. So that's a little sticker, but this isn't, so I don't know what that's for. Maybe it's a bookmark or something. I don't know. So anyway, you get one of those with the little card. And then in the other packet, now I don't know if these were just a special thing that was with my order, because when I see it online in the description, it doesn't say that it comes with these plastic things, so I don't know. I really don't know what they are either. But, uh, and then we've got another one. And in this one, it's the same deal. We've got this hard plastic one. This one's Winnie the Pooh this time. And it says, even if we're apart, I'll always be with you. Oh, isn't that cute? So maybe you could use this bookmark or something. It's quite thick. And then we've got our little stickers. So good for your little journal. And I won't traumatise you with trying to get these back into the plastic packets while on screen. So that's it for me. Until next time, happy colouring.